Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we're doing a lot of guides here on the Galaxy S4, and want to talk about the Watch On app, which um, will give you your guide of what shows that are airing on on TV and coming up, as well as use the uh, infrared um, blaster that's in the Galaxy S4. Um, so basically, it's the Watch On, Watch On app that's right there. Now, surprisingly, this isn't as sophisticated um, as the HTC TV app, uh, which I believe they're both made by Peel. Um, this one, you'll see the Peel name. Uh, by HTC, you don't, but I believe they're both made uh, by Peel. But surprisingly, um, Samsung's isn't as robust. Um, start out by selecting your country region, and I'm in the USA, and go ahead and punch in my zip. If I could punch it in right. And then you're given an opportunity to select your um, method of television. And interestingly enough, um, they have uh, the old C band satellite as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, anyways, I'm Direct TV. And uh, this here, this area here is where you can uh, personalize with your top picks. Um, but we'll go ahead and hit personalize here. I won't do too much with it, but this is where you can kind of um, reorder the genres that you're interested in. So obviously broadcast channels is at the top, and then new and comedy, and goes all the way down. Uh, notice there isn't sports here, which is interesting, uh, but there is a separate sports event uh, section. But you can basically go ahead and move um, any of these in any particular order that you want or even uncheck them if you don't want them to show. Right now we're going to pretty much leave things uh, the way they are uh, just to give you an idea. So basically just put your finger um, on the end there and then slide it uh, to move it and of course you can uncheck or check. Now here's the sports section. Uh, this is where you can list um, uh, you know the order that you want uh, um, your sports and to include any so um, right now it's baseball season so I'm gonna just go ahead and move baseball up and then I also like hockey so I'm gonna move that up as well um, whoops that didn't uh, that did not take I'm not sure why that's not taken. Maybe I gotta go like that. Okay, just to move it just a little bit above, I guess. There we go. And uh, I'll uncheck soccer, and we'll leave news and talk, and uh, get rid of other basketball. I'm not much of a fan of either right now, so we'll uncheck that, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Now uh, this is where um, you're going to um, accept the. Um, privacy and you can put in your age and gender if you want you don't have to we're going to go ahead and just move on and hit done there now it, you also have the opportunity to set up netflix as part of this so like when you're searching for movies that'll come up uh for now i'm just going to go ahead and cancel that um you can uh and then there's also the samsung account as well for the all their movies and stuff uh again you can sign into that and it will include that as well um, we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. And then the Peel disclaimer, that's how you know Peel's involved here. Uh, Peel has been around for a while. Peel's actually been on the Galaxy tabs that have all had infrared, infrared blasters. So right now they've incorporated it into the Watch On app. Um, so now we have the shows that are on television right now. And uh, it just seems like SpongeBob is on all the time. It's just amazing. And uh, this is basically recommended to me um, based on... I guess my interests. Um, there's no swiping here or anything like that. It's just basically what's recommended. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and go to the next time slot if you so wish. Um, you can also go to video, the video section, and that will would show you what's on um, the Samsung. Um, we'll go ahead and confirm here the Samsung uh, movie section. And, of course, I'm not logged in, but uh, that's all there. So we'll go back to TV, 
and over here uh, that was the just for you section you can go into your favorites which um, I don't have any listed um, and you can add channels to your favorites so let's say but now they want you to search for the channels this for whoever is interesting I'm surprised this UI that they don't list all the channels for you to check off but let's just say like I want Nesson uh, where the Red Sox play and then they have the HD version and the regular. I'll go ahead and check the HD version and then we'll back out. Oh, whoops, I forgot to hit next or done. Try that again. Okay, done. So now I've included a favorite channel there. Um, and then of course you can remove channels as well. Um, TV shows. These are uh, some of the TV shows that are on right now, and they have them by new, comedy, drama, kids, and you can swipe as well. And then um, sports, the sports is going to be based on the way I did it. I put baseball up on the top. One thing I like about this, this is a little bit better than the... Um, then uh, the HCC is and they give you the, the the titles of the games, but I don't see them all listed. I know there's more baseball games on right now, uh, but these are the games that are on right now. Ice hockey. Um, they don't have all the games again for whatever reason that are listed. I have the hockey package and it's not listed. Football there isn't going to be much going on, but the draft. The draft is actually going on right now. So. Um, and then you can go into uh, your social feed, uh, which I'm not signed into. Um, so that's okay. And then you can go into your guide where you can, you know, look at every channel um, on the, on your service. Now, if you go into here, you can also go into your settings here and change your liked programs. Uh, you do not currently have any. Uh, so you, if you can, as you go through different programs, you can like them or dislike them. Dislike programs, you don't have any. Uh, you can't add them manually. You'll do that from the thing in your the genres that we did at the beginning. That's also there, and the sports section which we did. So you can adjust them, and then you can add rooms as well. Um, but let's just, for example, um, if I go to just for you, and uh, let's just go. Well, actually, if I go in now, say I say SpongeBob, um, I can uh, like it or dislike it right here. That's how it ends up being your favorites. Um, one thing I like about this is that if it shows on now, you can tap on it, get information, then hit Watch Now. Whereas in the HTCV app, if it's on now, you press, uh, you tap the the show, it changes the channel. You may want to get more information first before changing the channel. Uh, so each one has its own pros and cons. Uh, the HTC, HTC version does seem a little bit more robust though. You can check out that video. Now, getting into the remote control part of it to control your TV, uh, this is a little limited here. You're going to go ahead and press this button here and you're going to do the setup now. Um, and you can select your TV brand. What's limited here is that I don't see anywhere where you can put your AV receiver in. So for me, I wouldn't be able to control volume at all. So it's just your TV and satellite. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Panasonic in for my TV. And now it's telling me to aim it at the TV um, and go through the uh, different codes. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do that right now. I'm going to move over to the TV. Okay, well I'm in front of the TV now and uh, we're going to tap this button to see if the TV turns on and um, if, it, if it turned on uh, then we're going to go the, put the yes code works or no go to the next code or you can send the code again we're going to say no TV did not come on um, so we're going to the next one and this one will turn it on All right, so that is on, and we are going to say, yes, this code works. Now we're going to go into what do I receive for channels, and that's where we go into the set-top box. That will be your cable or satellite box. Now we already selected DirecTV earlier as our source, uh, but we're going to select it again. And um, 
Well, of course, they're telling you that they, you may have set it up for RF, but um, I didn't, so it's set up for infrared. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now they're asking us to just go ahead and change the channel to make sure it works. So, and it went ahead and changed the channel. So, we know that works, and we're going to say yes, this code works. So now, basically I'm right here looking at shows, and now I can change the channel by hitting any of these shows. So if I go to Spongebob, um, again, I get that information. I can favorite it, do what I want there, and but I can also click Watch Now, and it changes the channel. Works fine. The only problem is that I can't control the volume uh, because there's no AV receiver set up. Now if I go over here, I do get um, the remote control. Uh, this is what's called the universal remote where it's going to hit the volume, but of course that won't work for me. And the channels, um, and you can change the source, and you can also do the uh, numeric keypad. So I can go ahead and uh, select which I know is Nesson 628 and that did change it so that works and then there's the TV remote only so this would lock it into the TV remote and this would lock it into direct TV and you have your directional and menu and all that good stuff now you cannot DVR anything but you can set up a reminder um, this is still much like the HTC but I'm surprised you don't have the full remote here where you can set your DVR and just send the codes. It just doesn't make sense to me, but that's the way they're doing it. Um, and then you can set up different rooms here if you want as well for different rooms in your house. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, you can just go through, see what's on TV, like and dislike what you want, then it will give you more recommendations. You can, of course, go into just sports, TV shows, movies, or whatever um, and go into these categories look at the future as well and look at what's on now and say okay uh, you know I want to watch uh, this particular show and then of course right here uh, interesting enough it gives you choices for which channels to uh, watch it on uh, which is also interesting um, so let's just say we will select that and it will go right to the channel So it works pretty good. That's the uh, Watch On app, and um, you know it uses your infrared, and uh, you know um, it gives you another opportunity to, to um, have an extra remote control in your house, in your pocket at any given time. Uh, so you don't have to fight for the remote in the house anymore, and you get a little bit of information. You get your own guide to look at without having to um, put the guide up on the TV and uh, go ahead and change channels. So it works pretty good. It's just I wish it um, offered um, more control of an AV receiver and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it does work. And uh, for those of you who have a Galaxy S4, um, definitely give it a shot. And I hope uh, this tutorial helped you out. Uh, so thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.